हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री सीरीज विद जेट पैक कम्पोज टुडे लेट्स डाइव इनटू द नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट टॉप एप बार द टॉप एप बार आल्सो नोन एज द एप बार इज अ की पार्ट ऑफ द मटेरियल डिजाइन गाइडलाइंस इट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट विजिबल यूजर इंटरफेस एलिमेंट्स टिपिकली लोकेटेड एट द टॉप ऑफ द स्क्रीन it provides content and actions related to a current screen such as navigation screen headlines and actions before moving forward let's have a brief look at scaffold the scaffold is a top level component in jetpack compose that provides a framework to implement the basic material design layout structure It provides slots for a navigation bar, a floating action button, a drawer and other user interface components. A scaffold manages the layout of these components for you, so you don't have to worry about how the fab should move when a snack bar appears or how the drawer should animate on screen. Let's go ahead and jump into our Android Studio. Here let's create a new file. So with the material design 3 library we have this top app bar composable function first let's delete these parentheses and here we have this parameter called title let's use a title here with the text composable function and this is giving error so let's hover the mouse and let's obtain this experimental annotation and let's use our top app bar in a scaffold so here let's create one more composable function so here let's take a scaffold and here we have this parameter top bar so let's provide our top app bar composable here and let's also provide the content in these parentheses now let's use our composable function in the main activity and run our app so here we can see this is our top app bar so let's minimize this and let's go back to our file and this top app bar composable function so apart from this title parameter we also have some more parameters one of them is this navigation icon so here we can provide a navigation icon which will be placed at the start of this top app bar so let's use an icon here with the help of this icon button and also we have this parameter called actions so here we can place more than one icons at the end of this top app bar so this is a row scope so here let's use few icon buttons like this so let's run our app again and see this change so here we can see now we have navigation icon and this actions so let's minimize this and we can also provide some scroll behavior to this top app bar so for that let's use that scroll behavior through the parameter of this composable function so here it will give error so 
first let's minimize these imports also so here first let's create a scroll behavior so we have these three types of behavior so first let's use this exit until collapsed scroll behavior so this is giving error so let's opt in this experimental annotation and let's provide this and we also need to attach this scroll behavior to this scaffolds with the help of this modifier so let's run our app and see this behavior so let's scroll this list so here we can see that top app bar has been hide but when we scroll all the way up above so it will come again so this exit until collapsed scroll behavior will immediately collapse when the nested content is pulled up and will expand back to the collapsed area when the content is pulled all the way down so other than this behavior we also have this let's delete this one first and this enter always scroll behavior so let's use this and run our app so with this behavior when we scroll up so it will go away but when we scroll down suddenly it will come again so this is the behavior of this so let's minimize this and let's scroll down so apart from this simple top app bar we also have other types another one is this center top app bar so let's use that here and let's use that composable function center align top app bar and let's copy all these parameters because all these parameters are exactly same in this one also and now let's use this composable function instead of this simple top app bar now let's run our app again in this center align top app bar we have this title in the center align and everything else will be the same so let's minimize this and we also have another type so first let's copy this one and paste it here and change it to medium top app bar and let's use that medium top app bar composable function so let now let's use this medium top app bar now let's run our app again so here we can see in that medium top app bar we have this title in the second line so when we scroll up so it will go back to that main line like this so this is the medium top app bar and let's minimize this and we have one more type so let's copy this whole code and paste it here and let's also change this composable function to large top app bar and let's use this one in our scaffold and run it again so here we can see this is our large top app bar so this large top app bar will give more space to that title so when we scroll above so this will go back to the main line like this so first let's minimize this and 
this large top f bar is quite helpful when you have title of a bar more than of one line suppose we have title other than this so here i have provided this max line to one and this overflow to ellipsis so this overflow parameter will help us in placing three dots if we, our title doesn't fit into that single line so let's run our app again so here when we scroll above so here we can see this title has gone back to that single line and we can see those three dots with the help of this ellipsis so this large top app bar is quite helpful in this case and let's minimize this and through this action parameter we can also provide more than these two icons so let's use one more icon so let's run it again so here we can see now we have three icons in this action so let's minimize this so here we can place more than three icons but it is advisable to not put more than three actions when there are more than three interactive actions the less important ones can be collapsed into an overflow menu the overflow menu then takes the place of a third action and that's a wrap on the top app bar component of material design 3 with jetpack compose we have covered how to create a simple top app bar as well as how to customize it by adding a title navigation icon and action items we have also explored different types of top app bar if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below see you in the next one